all right guys so results bringing it and yes we were going to do a live stream but so we're going to take this carp off take it down to chris and then hopefully get the bike down to chris and then uh should be down there until later this week where i get the exhaust parts and we start to build the exhaust and then hopefully you know we'll have her ready by april 9th Alright, cool. So, where I'm at right now is just a little windy, as you guys can see. So, you're gonna hear the wind a little bit. But, first thing I'm gonna start with is getting these velocity stacks off. And then, from there, we'll move on. It sounds like this is gonna be that hard. I think the main problem for me might just be getting the fuel line off. But if I can get the carburetor out, I can do that later. Cause I don't have since we have the TJ Brutal stuff, we don't have all I don't have all that extra do that stuff. But yeah, let's get to it. All right, next, I'm gonna get in there, and we're gonna get the, I'm gonna get the uh, gas line off, and uh, and uh, yeah, from there, I think I can just pull her out. Oh yeah, and the choke, I gotta get the choke off too. Can't forget about that. All right, let's do it to it. All right, so didn't film it. Had to go back down south, grab a tool from Chris to grab the choke out because uh, the bolt, which was <sighs> that one right there, was heavily stripped. So I was like, let's do this smart. You know, I might only have one <laughs> turn left. And I turned it with the uh, socket Allen, which was the perfect one turn right off. We're good to rock. Uh, it took me a while to pull this. Uh, I went on and taped it off and everything. Taped this off here because where I uh, disassembled it was right here. Let me show you. So uh, taped that off. Dra uh, drained it down there and then taped it off. 
We're actually just going to have it kink like that just in case. It's going to probably flop off. Watch. But. No gas should be coming out. We're good. I don't want, you know, my engine to fill up with gasoline in any type of way. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I went down there and grabbed that piece from Chris after that. Yeah, it took a little prying. I actually left the manifold thing on that side because I couldn't get it off. And uh, I got the carb off. So at least we can fix that. And I know how to toy, you know, I know how to twist it to get it back in. And uh, yeah. But if we need to get that off, maybe next round when I come down, we'll get that off or something. But yeah, we're going to get the carb down there and get it down south and uh, see what happens. So, let's do it. Alright, so we made it down to Chris. And uh, yeah, carbs off. So now I'm leaving it to the, the mad genius to uh, fix the... <laughs> fix the solar bike. So yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was fun. That was fun getting the carb off and everything. Now we got to put it back on, but now we understand. Well, at least I understand how they do it. Easy. Ha <laughs> ha! Bro, we're going to have some dope-ass exhaust, bro. I'm really excited for it, bro. Once I was like... The exhaust? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a cool look. And I really like... Um, you know, mine's kind of like forming into this traditional look, you know? Yeah. And then uh, your like, exhaust really goes well with the character of your bike, you know? Exactly. Okay, let's open up the one. Yeah, I might as well just put these away. Is this side marked? No. This side's definitely marked. Oh, okay, so... See how it's kind of gunky right here? Yeah. I wonder if that is um, any part of our problem. Let's open up this side first. You know, this, this gasket is slightly big. Like, um, it probably got maybe it soaked up some gas. You see how big it is right here? Yeah. Wonder if it wasn't making a seal. Any ways? Let's uh. So these are the jets that I've uh, changed. This is the pilot jet. This is your idling jet, pretty much. Um, and this is the main jet. This is the jet that the pilot, or the needle, uh, clogs and controls. Right, so when you pull your throttle, the needle comes up and allows this jet to suck up the gas that's inside this chamber, because this is sitting upside down. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. This um, this is where the gas comes in through and into the chamber and fills the chamber from the outside right here. And when it fills the chamber, like basically with no gas, these floats are all the way down. Okay. And then there's a, okay, this would be all the way down. And if you look right here, there's a little spot where the gas would come through, okay, and fill up the chamber. And when it gets filled, the floats start gradually going up, which clogs up the hole, which the gas is coming through. So it only allows it to have so much gas flowing in. Pretty cool design. Real smart, real simple, but smart. You know what I mean? Okay, this should be good. All right, let's flip it. And look what's going on on this side of that cylinder. 
which is the right side. Is it smart? Yeah. I know, yeah, yeah, it's smart. This looks new, I must have replaced it. Now you can see, um, you've seen, you know, mine opened up, how simple it is. This is a lot, a lot different design. It allows you to crack the throttle like all the way. Uh, and then this diaphragm will gradually open up because of the suction. And mine doesn't have that, it just... See, what it does is this needle... The diaphragm causes the needle to go up and down. The needle... It clogs... The main jet. Okay. Yeah, so... When it's all the way in... It's totally clogged. When diaphragm goes up, it's allowing more gas into the chamber, so you get more, you know, faster. Um, it is cool to see this, yeah, compared to what we did last year when we did George. Yeah. Yep. Go on, go on the yeah, this is definitely more advanced. Um, method of doing you know, a carb uh, or design definitely a better design than mine but simple is cool too <laughs> for looks you can't you can't beat simple if you're going for just looks for performance yeah I would totally go this this dual carb setup over my carb one single carb any day performance all right guys so me and chris ended up getting this in here and everything fit perfectly and everything but we ended up the gasket that we ended up going and getting uh and re putting on was one that's leaking so i had to order some gaskets i also got the uh, air filter a new one for that coming in here pretty soon we should all be in the garage and uh yeah me and nick gotta get some stuff done chris has got to finish out his work with the uh with his exhaust and getting his um figuring out his seat but yeah we did an awesome job so now we just gotta get this baby back down to the garage and take everything back off and then put everything back on and then yeah from there it'll be her exhaust I think I'm, uh, I was gonna use these side covers blue, but with the front, that and the uh, front fender that I'm gonna do blue, the tank redoing and that, I think I'm gonna do all those blue, keep that black. Maybe a blue wrap over, if I don't keep the uh, exhaust chrome. So we'll see about that. But yeah, we got the exhaust design ready to rock too. So I should hopefully be, I should hopefully be able to ride maybe for the cycle gear, the second event. Hopefully, that's what I wanna get, you know, and then, uh. From there, I want to get this going for the maybe the Eagle Rider event for April 20th and uh, have her have the nice new exhaust and everything ready to rock. But yeah, guys, it's been Overzealous Brandy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, tell your friends about us, and uh, I'll see you next week for the next Moto Vlog where we'll have a. Uh, and at the end of this, too, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and edit in. I'll show you guys the uh, exhaust boss that I got and the uh, new colored grips because. They didn't have the blue, so I'll show you the color when we go in. All right, guys. So we got those Vans Colt. I just want the straight black. And then we got these. And these will be, let's start these off. So we got these, which they call like the uh, 
boss hog kick or something like that. So yeah, new results coming here soon. Yeah. Hey.